If Congress fails to meet its responsibility, it could deeply damage financial markets, the ongoing economic recovery, and the jobs and savings of millions of Americans. I have a responsibility to be transparent with Congress and the American people about these risks. And I think it would be a grave mistake to discount or dismiss them. How can the United States choose whether to provide children with food assistance or meet our obligations to Medicare providers? The United States should not be put in a position of making such perilous choices for our economy and our citizens. There is no way of knowing the irrevocable damage such an approach would have on our economy and financial markets. Let me be clear. Trying to time a debt limit increase to the last minute could be very dangerous. If Congress does not act and the United States suddenly cannot pay its bills, the repercussions would be serious. Prioritization is just default by another name. Uh, it's just saying that we will default on some subset of our obligations. But it, we are still, we are, by definition, if we don't have enough money to pay all of our bills, we will be in default on our obligations. The president tried to be clear uh, in his statements in recent days that um, if Congress passes something shorter, he was open to, he was, he's not looking for there to be a crisis here, um, but Congress will be right back dealing with it, so the better solution is to go longer. Hey, there's a parlor sport in Washington of when is the last minute. You can't do that with the yeah. debt limit. With the debt limit, if you look for the last minute and you make a mistake, you've done serious damage to the U.S. economy, to the world economy. It's just not responsible. It's reckless.